Hugo is probably the most hellacious thing I've ever went through in my life. The official wins were 161. It was a nightmare. At that time, preparation started. We decided it was a definite possibility that Charleston could take a ground zero hit of Hurricane Hugo. service we never lost uh, the ability to communicate we lost all commercial power and everything went away but we still had the uh, availability of our system 85 working which our AT&T technicians were here with us during the storm everything continued to work everything else went out our radios went out everything went out the telephone stayed on we had people calling us during the storm I think today we know we're in an age where technology has really advanced but the technology is only as good as the service. Our AT&T telephone technicians, uh, they were here, they were working, uh, they left their homes and their families, and they were devoted enough to this institution and AT&T to be here when we needed them to make everything work. If I had not been able to communicate with somebody else, another living person, another living body, I don't know what I would have done during that hurricane. Some of the eerie, eerie effects of what happened, we were able to view the clocks of a lot of these homes and they stopped at 504 these huge clocks 504 everywhere you looked in a building you know it's a time that i, I don't think i'll ever forget 504 when i stopped to think about at&t and the response of at&t i recognized that this response was not just the field services organization or the business communication systems. It was a network organization that had um, thousands of trouble tickets that rerouted calls that, uh, that provided the capability for thousands of calls to get in and out of the Bay Area. 85 stayed up and running. Um, there was no loss of uh, uh, telephone communications uh, at the hall. Uh, it was a great burden off my shoulders because I was able to deal with other issues rather than worrying about bringing the 85 up. I did manage to get a brief moment out to call my mother back east. And I told her, Mom, I'm alive. I'm not hurt. And I'm going to be very busy for a long time. It makes me feel like I'm part of a, of a big company and a big community that does and can respond. And it makes me very proud. AT&T presents The Final Days will continue in a moment. And ABC News Brief, now from Washington, Tom Gerald. Good evening, off Pensacola, Florida, a T-2 training jet crashed today on the flight deck of the aircraft carrier Lexington, killing at least four people. One aircraft was destroyed on deck, two others damaged. On Molokai, Hawaii, all 20 bodies have been recovered from the crash of a small commuter plane, carrying members of two high school volleyball teams. In South Africa, 70,000 people staged the biggest anti-apartheid protest in that country's history. More later on the weekend report. The challenge is designing a comfortable house. You know, cool in the summer, cozy in the winter. I always recommend the electric heat pump. It's the uh, cost-effective way to get clean, even heat. Then uh, people say we want air conditioning too. Well, hey, the uh, heat pump does it all. You know, you can decorate with antiques, but uh, to run your house, you should have today's technology. The electric heat pump is the best design for today. We do good things together. Toth Buick in Akron and Toth Oldsmobile in Medina are tough to beat on quality used cars. Together, we stock over 200 used cars, trucks, and vans, domestic and foreign. Most are backed by a three-month, 3,000-mile free GM warranty. The used car deals at Toth are so good and the financing so right, you can't afford not to buy. Toth Buick GMC, I-77 at Arlington Road, Akron, and Toth Old GMC Route 18 at I-71 in Medina. I want a car! Strange stories of things that go bump in the night. People who live with ghosts. You can do everything from playing heavy metal music if you don't think the ghost is going to like it to telling very bad jokes to bore them out of the house. <laughs> Plus actor Danny Aiello. He used to drive a bus, now he's turning out blockbuster movies. I walked into the improvisation here in New York City and Bud Friedman gave me a job. He saw talent in me, so he made me a bouncer. All on the Joan Rivers Show. Monday at 9 a.m. on TV 23. Tonight we'll have mostly clear skies, low 45.
five degrees. And now AT&T presents The Final Days Continues.